Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome. Okay, perfect. I was texting your classmates, so I have told them that the class has started. Okay, so welcome and good night, everybody. So, welcome, Jorge. Good night. Welcome, Lisette. Hello, hi. Hi, Jorge. How are you? Good, nice. Perfect. That's that sounds very good. So now, Lisette, how are you, Lisette? Are you connected, Lisette? Not yet. Okay. Uh, perfect, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi, Lisette. Good night. How are you? Okay, so perfect, guys. So let me, you know, uh, start, you know, sharing uh, the screen, guys. Um, you know, I will share you this part, guys. So this is the platform, right? So we have finished so far about unit number th three or section number three. We have finished this exercise, right? So we did it yesterday, right? So this one and this one must be completed, right? Because for tonight, guys, we are going to finish unit number three, okay? Because there are just two exercises and we are going to do it here in class, okay? Because for tomorrow, guys, tomorrow will be a bit, well, a special day. Why, teacher? Because we are going to have the exam, okay? So tomorrow, guys, is the exam, okay? So we have to be ready for that, okay? Unit one, two, and three must be finished, okay? Esas unidades ya deben de ser terminadas because here I have the exam, okay? So this is the exam, okay? So welcome for the ones that are joining. Welcome, welcome, everybody. So it's nice to see you tonight. So how are you tonight? Como están, chicos? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. Nice, nice, nice. I like to hear that. So, perfect. Now, guys, let me, you know, share you the screen. Yesterday, we have, you know, a very interesting topic. However, we couldn't fin finish it, right? No lo pudimos terminar. But now we have time. So now we can finish, okay? But first things first, okay? Let me show you this exercise, okay? So, okay, let me include everybody, so. Okay, so perfect. Now, um, I have this conversation for you, okay, guys? So first of all, let me read it for you so you can know how to pronounce it, okay? So let's start, we have Richard and Stephanie, okay? So let's see, hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous, okay? So here, guys, first of all, um, we, were, we were talking here about professions, right? Professions. And also using adjectives, right? So now, guys, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to send you this picture. You can take a picture if you want. We are going to practice with our classmates, okay? Vamos a practicar esta conversación con nuestros compañeros, okay? So let me take a picture for you guys so you can have it on your phone, okay? So you can check the WhatsApp group, you will have it, or you can take a picture, okay? So now uh, you can practice this with your classmates. I'm going to divide the, okay? Let's make five, six groups, okay? Let's see. Okay, let's see, perfect. Now guys, I'm going, you know, to create some breakout rooms so you can 
practice with your partner, okay? So now you can accept it, please. You can accept the invitation. You have the picture on the WhatsApp group, okay? So please accept the invitation, guys. Aceptemos la invitación, chicos. Vamos a practicar esta conversation, okay? Ya les envié la foto al grupo de WhatsApp so you can practice, okay? So, perfect. Let's see. Jorge, if you can help me accepting, Lisette, Edwin. Okay, Maritza, if you can help me accepting the request, please. Oh, Edwin is alone here. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, nice. Uh, Lisette, if you can accept me the thank invitation. You. Sorry. Uh, then let me move Daniel. Okay. Okay, Liz said if you can accept it, I have. Okay, perfect. Novia, you can accept the invitation, please. Let me see, Daniel, if you can accept the invitation, please. Perfect. Vilma, are you here with us, Vilma? Eulis, Eulis, new. Uh, Novia, Lisette, can you accept the invitation, please? Can you accept the invitation? Perfect. Uh, I cannot hear you, Novia. Let me see, this is room five. Okay. Um, Let's see, let's uh, well, Lisette Novia. Yeah. Okay, sí, es que me había desconectado el internet. Ah, okay, then don't worry. Novia, what about you? Can you log in? Puedes aceptar? Ah, uh, no. Oh, I see. So Lisette. No, parece aceptar, dicho. Okay, so uh -huh. Lisette. Uh, you can stay here with Nubia, okay? You both can practice okay. here, okay? So, Nubia, can you talk? Puedes hablar? Because we cannot hear you. Mm. And what about Vilma? Vilma, are you here with us? So, well, I guess... Okay, Nubia, just look up. Okay, so then Vilma, you can practice with Lisette, okay? I'm going to check the other groups, okay? okay. Perfect. Okay. So let me, nice. I am a supervisor. I am a supervisor. Hey. Hey, Lainez. I hear uh, you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching much at Lincoln High School. How do you leave it? Lincoln. Hi. I'm teaching math. This meeting is being at recorded. Lincoln High School. No, do you like it? It is great that students are ferret for a fit. How are things with you? No, but I am. I am. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa? Firefighters. Firefighter, yeah. Ah, firefighters. No, you cannot. Cannot. Thanks. Ex, exit, exciting. That's exciting. Ah, that's exciting. Yes, but it's a very uh, stressful hoax. Yep. Okay. And some 
Um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso, teacher? Some... Sometimes. Sometimes is the down, down the, curse. Down dangerous. Curse. Dangerous. Dangerous. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Very nice, guys. And well, all your classmates are here as well. So perfect, guys. I hope you have practiced this exercise. So you see, it's really easy, right? So, well, this okay. conversation is about, you know, uh, professions and also adjectives, right? So now, guys, let me see. Um, I'm going to choose another volunteer to help me, well, two volunteers to help me to read this conversation. So let's see. I'm going to choose the ones that have the camera off. So probably they can turn on, right? So perfect. And I have here uh, Jennifer. Jennifer Martinez and Daniel, do you, do you want to practice? Hello? Yeah, Jennifer, uh, you're going to help me with this. Daniel, do you want to practice? Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, Jennifer, you're going to be a Stephanie and Daniel will be Richard, okay? So, Daniel, you can start. Okay. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teach much I like, like um, high school. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrible. Uh, how are things with you? No, fast. I am a firefighter now. You know. That's exciting. Yes, it is a very stressful, yes. And sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was really nice. Perfect. So, guys, I know that probably you have seen some questions that you know, right? For example, how do you like it, right? How do you like it? Um, we have, I'm a firefighter. You know what is a firefighter, right? So, bombero. So, perfect, guys. Now, let's move on. So, well, this is part of the class yesterday, right? So, we saw this, right? When to use a and none, right? So we know this. And we also have the adjectives, okay? So we have adjectives. So you see, we have these adjectives, the opinion, shape, size. I know you, you have seen about this, right? The previous model that you had, you see the adjectives, right? El modelo anterior, vimos que eran los adjetivos, right? So now let's see age, we have color, origin, material, purpose. So, well, we, we were in this part yesterday, right, guys? So, you know, let me make a feedback, feedback, a refresh about this class, okay? So let's see what do we have. So we have, first of all, we have placement of adjectives with verb to be and the adjective, right? So we have that for this one, it says a firefighter's job, job, okay? You pronounce this one, no hop, okay? No se pronuncia hop, se pronuncia job, okay? Job. For example, um, everybody, I want everybody to make this some. Quiero que todos hagamos este sonido, okay? Yo, 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 okay? Como que vamos a cerrar entre los dientes y vamos como que yo, ya, okay? For example, cuando decimos uh, yuca, okay? El sonido yo, yo, okay? Yo. Ju, ju, okay. Now let's see job, okay, job, okay, job. Perfect. So that's how we pronounce, okay, job, okay. Firefighter job is dangerous. Es peligroso, right? Dangerous is peligroso, right? A doctor's job is stressful, okay. So let's see if I have it here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have, guys, let me explain you this, right? So first, what do we have first? We have A, right? Tenemos que agregar el article 
A, right? A or N, right? It depends about the context, right? A, right? A or N. Then we have to add the profession, right? The profession or the job, right? Profession, profession. Then what do we have to add, guys? We have to add the job, right? Plus job. So profession, sorry, it is not job, it's the S, right? We add the S, that is the positive, and then we add job, okay? After that, we have to add verb to be, okay, verb to be, plus an adjective, right? So this one, okay? This is the rule, right? Everybody is, I mean, it's okay with this, right? Todos entendemos hasta aquí, right? Any questions so far? So this is, these are the rules, okay? Estas son las reglas de cómo se hace, okay? So because we have this, right? Let me open a new one, a new tab for you. So we have this one, right? This rule, okay? This rule. Then let's create a sentence, okay? Let's create a sentence. So for example, we have um, uh, a profession, a teacher, okay? Un profesor, a teacher, okay? A teacher. Then we have to add subject, right? La S. So let's see. A teacher's, okay? A teacher's job, music agrega job, más el verbo to be. Verbo to be is, right? A teacher's job is, okay? Tenemos is. And then the adjective. Agregamos un adjetivo. Give me an adjective, guys. Deme un adjetivo. An adjective that you know. Adjective. Boring. Boring. Perfect. So, a teacher's job is boring. El trabajo, bueno. Un, el trabajo de un profesor es aburrido. Well, it's not boring, but this is an example, okay? So, <laughs> perfect. Now, let's look another, okay? So, let's use an, okay? Podemos usar an también. An, and let's see, account, okay? Profession, account contador, right? Account, luego la S, accounts. Le agregamos job, okay, job. Luego el verbo to be, que es is, ¿verdad? Is. Now give me an adjective, guys. Deme un adjetivo. An adjective. An adjective. Restful. Which one? Restful. 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 How? I don't get it. Can you type it? Well, I need everybody to get me. Yo sé que todos ya sabemos que son adjetivos. If you don't know, adjectives are... Restful. Ah, stressful. Perfect. Yeah, stressful. It's stressful. And yeah, of course it is. El trabajo de un contador es estresante. So, yes. guys, I need your help right now. Necesito que cada uno individually escriban tres adjetivos. Okay? Necesito que cada uno escriban tres adjetivos en el chat box. Okay? En el chat box, here the Zoom, I need you to type three adjectives. Okay? Puede ser adjetivo, cualquier adjetivo. Okay? It doesn't matter. Okay? But I need adjectives, okay? So give me at least three, okay? Three or two adjectives. Tres o dos adjetivos que ustedes conozcan, okay? So let's see who's going to be the first one to send, okay? I'm seeing the chat, okay? Estoy viendo el chat box. So let's see, guys, okay? Send the adjectives that you know. And be los adjetivos que ustedes conocen, okay? Los que ya conocen, los que ustedes se pueden. Okay, we have Edwin Cheerful. Nice. So what about the rest? Come on, guys. I know you know adjectives, okay? Pueden decirme cualquier adjetivo. Hey, happy here. Perfect. So, dynamic, okay? Outgoing. Very nice. Outgoing. So, what else, guys? What other adjectives do we know? And being adjetivos que ustedes conozcan, okay? Whatever, okay? It can be, you know, for example, he's a shy person. He's, a, he's tall, okay? Tall is an adjective, okay? Shy, perfect, wonderful, nice. So we have attend, perfect, guys. Nice, beautiful, okay, perfect. Okay, nice, guys. So what about the rest? Come on, guys, pretty, very cool, nice, guys. 
tall, nice, and kind, sad. Perfect. Oh, okay, sad. <laughs> okay, very nice. So come on, guys, let's see. So, well, very nice, guys. Perfect. So heavy, tired, tiring, perfect. Now, guys, that's very nice. So now let me move on, okay? Let me see. We have, we were in this one, right? We were describing, well, we were, we were using, sorry, adjectives with be, and we use the adjectives. Now we are going to use adjective and nam, okay? So let's see what do we have here, okay? So let me copy this part here. So let's see, okay? Let me delete this. So we have for this one, what do we have? We have a or an, that is the same, right? Then we have profession. Then we don't have the S here, okay? But we have has, okay? Has. We don't have job, so we delete it, right? We delete it and we have has. Then we add, again, it can be a or an plus the adjective, okay? So let's see one more time. Let's look at this, okay? So what do we have here, guys? What do we have here? Oh, sorry, at the end we are going to add now, so, okay? So we add job, right? We have job, perfect. So in this case, guys, let's see. Okay, we have the rule to make the other one, okay? We have a or an, okay? So let's see an example, a, uh, uh, okay? Let's see, and look at profession. Uh, uh, let's see, a police officer, okay? A police officer, okay? a profession, then we have to add has, okay, has, because I'm talking just one, okay, has, and then it depends about the adjectives, okay, va a depender del adjetivo si vamos a utilizar a o a. In this case, I'm going to choose one of your adjectives, okay, I'm going to choose, yeah. Dangerous. Okay, perfect, dangerous, okay, so then we add, add right, a dangerous, and then we add job, right? Job. So you see? Simple like that, okay? Simple as that. So now let's see, uh, again, another one. Um, let's see. Uh, give me a profession, guys. Give me a profession that we haven't used. Can I move that? Um, nurse. A nurse, perfect. Has, okay, has. Then it depends about the adjective, right? Ocupamos un adjective. Let's see. I'm going to choose one of the adjectives that you sent, guys. It's um okay. Uh well, let's see. Uh nice. Let's use nice, okay? Has a nice job. Can you see? A then the profession. Police officers, nurse, teacher, firefighter, you know. Then we add has, okay, has. Then a, an, right? And then the adjective. And then we add job, okay? So perfect, guys. Now, well, do you have any question about this so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Yes, no? No? Okay, nice. So, well, guys, here is the same, right? So here are some adjectives, right? Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. And you see here, you see, this is the first one, right? A lawyer's job is stressful, okay? And then we change it for a lawyer has a stressful job. So you see? Now, let's look at this, okay, guys? Let's, you know, make this little exercise here. So we have the first one. Let's take a look at this, okay? So a doctor's job is interesting, right? Then we change it for a doctor has an interesting job. Ven aquí, an. ¿Por qué an? Porque aquí inicia con sonido de vocal, right? Interesting. You see? An interesting. Now let's see this one, okay, guys? Vamos a ver. We have this one. A police 
officer's job is dangerous. So let's change it. Cambiémoslo para que suene igual que este, para que sea igual que este, guys. How it would sound? ¿Cómo sería, chicos? I need your answer in the chat box, okay? Envíen su respuesta en el chat box aquí de Zoom, okay? I want to see it, okay? Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see, guys. Come on. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I have Edwin here and Daniel. A police officer has a dangerous job, Maritza. Perfect. Nice, guys. Nice. If you can, if you want to see the answer, guys, you can go to the chat box. Si quieren ver cuál es la respuesta, pueden ver el chat box. Ahí Daniel, Maritza, and Edwin have sent it. Ya lo enviaron, right? So that is the correct answer. So now, guys, besides that, aparte de eso, tenemos estos tres, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to divide you, okay, in groups. Vamos a hacer now groups, okay? So en sus grupos les voy a mandar la foto de esos ejercicios, chicos. Quiero que lo reserven, okay? Cada uno va a resolver, bueno, en su grupo van a resolver estos. ¿Por qué? Porque al final voy a, a bueno, voy a escoger a uno de cada grupo para que me diga, okay? So let's see how many do we have here? Okay. So too many, four groups, okay? So now guys, I'm going to open the room so you can access, okay? Pueden aceptar now, okay? You are going to be in groups. Vamos a responder esto, okay, chicos? Ya les mandé la foto en el grupo de WhatsApp. Vamos a responder esto, okay? Ya tenemos cómo se dice y la vamos a cambiar a esto, okay? Como este ejemplo, okay? So come on, everybody. Let's move on, okay? Let's move on to your group, okay? Okay, so let's see. I have some of your classmates. Okay. So perfect, guys. Okay, so who do we have here? Okay. So let's see. Uh, Okay, Nubia, Iliana, Jorge, can you accept it, please? Guys, can you accept it? Jorge, can you accept the invitation, please? Perfect. Uh, perfect, nice. Uh La, la segunda sería a teacher eh, has a stressful stressful job job huh? stressful job La tercera sería a Plumber has a boring job. Exactly. Eh, la última sería an electricity. A plumber has a boring job. A boring job, yes. Okay. An um, electric, electrician. Science. That's yeah. a difficult job. If a electrician has a difficult job. Job. Okay. Has a electrician has a difficult job. That is correct. Perfect. Perfect. Ya, ya le llamo rápido a esa cosa. <laughs> la revisamos de nuevo. O sea. Sí, digamos a que poli... uh -huh. alguien diga la A, la 1, la
Okay, welcome, welcome everybody, welcome. So perfect guys, I hope you have, sorry, you have uh, practice and you have learned about this, okay? Because I'm going to choose, you know, from your groups, I'm going to choose just one, okay? So let's start, well, we only, we have five groups where we are going to choose just four, okay? So in this case, uh, let's answer this one. We have already answered, but let's, do it again, okay? So in this case, can I have the participation of Hosman? Hosman, are you here? Hosman? No, yet. Well, probably they are. Uh, well, if not, let's see. Uh, Lisette, Lisette, are you here? Yes. So Lisette, can you help me answer in this one? What is the answer for this? What is the respuesta para esto, this one? Yes. Hi teacher, no pude entrar al grupo, no me conectó el internet, me está fallando la señal. Oh, I see. Okay, do not worry then, but do you know what is the answer for this? Pero sabes cuál es para esta? Because this is what explicamos este, right? So do you know what is this? Tenemos a police officer is a dangerous job. Es como este, okay? Por ejemplo, tenemos a doctor's job is interesting. Y lo cambiábamos a a doctor has an interesting job. So what do you think is the answer here? No. Yes. Or do I have a volunteer that can help me with this? Alguien que quiere ayudar a Lisa a responder este? Okay, I have, let's see, Juan Carlos, tell me, please. Okay, sería, a police officer has a dangerous job. Okay, perfect. A police officer has a dangerous, dangerous job. job. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, Juan. Okay, so you see, Lisa, said this is the way we can do it, right? It's Esta es la forma como lo podemos hacer, ¿ok? So now, let's see. Um, do I have a Maritza? Maritza, are you here? Perfect. Maritza, uh, tell me with this one, please. Um, a teacher mm -hmm. has a stressful Stressful job. job. Perfect. Very nice, Maritza. So this is the way we can do it, right, guys? So you see? Now let's move on. Do I have the participation of Eulise? Eulise, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, yeah, I can hear you. So can you help me with this one, please? A proper has a boring job. Okay, a plumber has a boring job. What is a plumber, guys? Do you know what is this? Plumber? Is plumero or no? oh, algo así, no sé. Yeah, yeah, it's that plumero. one. Yeah, plumero, fontanero, that one. Perfect. And now we have the last one for tonight. Um, well, Josman is here. Josman, no. Oh, uh, yeah, Hosman. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Can you help me with this one, please? 
an electrician has a, a difficult job. Perfect. An electrician has a difficult job. Yeah. Perfect. So you see, guys, this is the way we can do it, right? So, guys, do you have any question about this? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta o alguna duda que no entiendan de esto? Yes, no, let me know, please. Okay. Do you have alguna pregunta? Eh, yo solo, es como, no es una pregunta, sino que solo es una observación. Uh -huh. De que al inicio es cuando decimos, doctors, es como algo propio. No, y al diferente no. es como que nos estamos refiriendo a que él tiene un trabajo aburrido o un, un trabajo estresante. Algo yeah, así. that one, yeah. In this one, a doctor's uh, job, well, esto sería esto, que a doctor's job sería el trabajo de un doctor, ok, traducido, estas dos que miras aquí, el trabajo de un doctor, ok, de un, ok, de un, ok, eso es como de, right, and doctor has, tiene, ok, estas chicos son, um, in Spanish, déjenme explicarlo, son como las formas en las que podemos decir, right, podemos describir las cosas, right, en este caso, Aquí estábamos utilizando esto para describir un trabajo, right? Y aquí para describirlo también, pero de otra manera. So you see, both are correct. Estas son, por eso se les enseña de estas dos formas, ¿ok? Para las dos formas, para que ustedes puedan entenderlo, ¿ok? Y usarlo, ¿ok? So, let me, guys, let me también darles, ¿ok? More adjectives, ¿ok? So aquí también tengo más adjetivos, ¿ok? About jobs, ¿ok? These are adjectives to describe Jobs, ok, son adjetivos para describir trabajos. So we have demanding, challenging, repetitive, rewarding, glamorous, lonely, mundane, clerical, ok. And then, guys, let me, uh, well, do you have any other question about that? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta acerca o duda de esto? Yes, no. No. Pregunta, duda, reclamo, queja. No. Ok. So, Solo una pregunta. Ya. Yeah. Ahí, como siempre nos estamos refiriendo a las terceras personas, por eso usamos el has. Ya, yeah, exacto. Si digo you, es lo mismo. No. Uh, cuando ocupamos you... ¿Sería no. has o have? Have. En este caso... Por ejemplo, let me share you the screen. Pero um, this one, porque estamos hablando de una profesión, ¿verdad? Right? Una profesión es singular, ¿verdad? Right? Pero digamos, um, hagamos una sentence using this, ¿ok? Digamos que aquí dice... Uh, um, police officers, ¿ok? Los policías have... A dangerous job. Police officers have a dangerous job. Los policías tienen un trabajo peligroso, right? O puedo decir, uh, for example, this one. Quitándole la A, porque recuerden que A solo es para cuando hablamos de uno, right? Y aquí como vamos a hablar de varios. Teachers, los profesores, have a stressful job. Los profesores tienen un trabajo estresante. Okay? Teachers have a stressful job. You see? Pero aquí te diste cuenta que quito la A y agrego S porque estoy hablando en plural. Okay? Plural. So, perfect. But thank you, you for your questions because you are improving your English. That's very nice. So, perfect, guys. If we don't have any questions, let me share you. Yeah, we have already time. Let me share you this PowerPoint, okay? So, this one. Here I have some adjectives, okay? So you see kind woman, selfish man, okay? These are some adjectives that you can use in your life, okay? So we have friendly man, woman, unfriendly man, okay? Friendly significa amistoso, okay? So friendly man, hombre amistoso, friendly woman, Mujer amistosa. Y si digo unfriendly, man, unfriendly. Si friendly es amistoso, ¿qué sería unfriendly, chicos? Unfriendly. 
Mm -hmm. Friendly, amistoso. Unfriendly. Apático. Yeah, podría ser apático. Yeah, apático, alguien que es... Um, que no es amistoso, right? apático, sería la palabra, ya. Yeah. apático. O antisocial, podría ser, yeah, exactly. So, now we have this one. Honest man, hombre honesto. He's, she's a liar. Liar. Liar significa mentiroso. Okay? Liar, this one, liar. Now, cheerful, serious. Okay, vemos, cheerful, serious, right? Responsible irresponsible okay hard working hard working lazy okay hard working lazy faithful unfaithful okay faithful unfaithful leal desleal okay and then we have this one, right that word like the sound right so perfect and this one are to describe people, right, guys? To describe appearance. You have seen this, right? Ustedes ya, creo que ya vieron esto en el módulo anterior, que les explicaron cómo describir personas, right? To describe people. So, well, but those, you know, I wanted to show you this. Quería mostrarles esto para que supieran para qué más podemos utilizar los adjetivos, right? The adjectives. So, nice. Very good, guys. Let me now share you uh, the screen. So, I'm going to show you something, guys. I want to show you uh, our platform, okay? So we have, guys, ayer we finished this exercise, right? Ayer terminamos este ejercicio, right? Everybody finished this one, right? Lo hicimos en clase. Do you remember? We finished, okay? About questions. Now, guys, we have this one that is for today. And if you see, guys, si miran este ejercicio que es para el día de hoy, chicos, se van a dar cuenta que es exactamente el mismo que acabamos de hacer en grupo, ¿ok? El que acabamos de hacer ahorita en la clase, ¿ok? Van a hacer lo mismo que hicieron en el ejercicio anterior, ¿ok? A police officer's job is dangerous, ¿ok? A police officer, sorry, job, sorry, officer has a dangerous job, ¿ok? So that one. That's the thing that you're going to do in this one, okay? Es lo mismo, practically. Es lo mismo que hemos hecho en la práctica, okay, guys? So this one is the one that we're going to do, okay? Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. But we have another one here. Tenemos el último aquí, okay? So this is a reading, okay? Esta es un, una lectura que aquí tenemos, right? So in this one, guys, I believe, uh, let's see. We are going to do this, but tomorrow, okay? Because we don't have too much time. No tenemos mucho tiempo para hacer esto, okay? Para que todos lo leamos. So, but this one, esta sí es para ahora, right? Que es la que acabamos de hacer. But now let me share you, okay? Let me share you about, you know, this topic. So, well, we have these, you know, other adjectives that we have here, okay? Otros adjetivos para describir los jobs, okay? Para describir los trabajos. Tenemos a part-time job. You know what is a part time, right? Medio tiempo, okay? Full time, tiempo completo. Un, un job de full time, okay? Un trabajo de tiempo completo, okay? A stressful job. Stressful, what is a stressful? It's a difficult job with difficult goals and bosses who are constantly looking for more results, right? We have challenging. You have a difficult job, but in an enjoyable way, okay? Uh, we have a demanding job. Your, your job needs a lot of time and energy. Okay, un trabajo demandante, demanding. We have a repetitive job, un trabajo repetitivo. Mundane job, a very ordinary job in, with no interest or excitement, okay? So this is like something illegal, right? Mundane job. So perfect. So guys, we have this reading, right? This reading. So probably some of you know, you know, words and some of you don't know, right? Muchos de ustedes probablemente lo que más dificulta en inglés son las palabras, right? Because we haven't learned, porque no hemos aprendido muchas palabras, right? But we are going to do something, okay? We are going, uh, 
Okay, so you're being said, okay, you're being, you can, you can go, do not worry. So, um, guys, este es mi tip para ustedes personally, que okay, personalmente, si ustedes quieren aprender inglés, pónganse de meta aprenderse nuevas palabras cada día, ok, al menos dos o tres palabras nuevas, verbos, ok, cualquier cosa, así van a ir mejorando su léxico, okay? van mejorando su vocabulario y van a entenderlo, ok. But for now, guys, for now we have this, ok. Por ahí tenemos este reading, ok. Lo que vamos a hacer en este reading es de que lo puede dividir de nuevo en grupos, chicos, ok. Lo puede dividir en grupos. Lo que quiero que hagan, les voy a mandar igual la foto al grupo de WhatsApp, pero si quieren pueden tomar una foto a esta imagen, ok. Lo puede dividir a cada uno y cada grupo va a tener su tema, ok. Por ejemplo, un grupo va a leer solo de este, el otro de este, el otro de este y el otro de este, ok. So we have actress, video game taster, dog walker and teacher, ok. So I'm going to create four groups for now. Voy a crear cuatro grupos que ya están, de hecho, ya están. Son los mismos con los que ya estamos, right? So oh, let me, or let me recreate again. Déjame crearlo, es nuevo, ok? So now we are four, ok? Somos cuatro grupos. So el, we are four. El grupo, cuatro grupos. Room number so, one. El grupo, el grupo Déjenme mutear lo okay. que los que estén en el grupo en el room number one van a leer esto, ok. En el, los que estén en el room number two van a tener esto, room number three and room number four, ok. Got it, guys. Now I have opened the rooms, ok. Ya he abierto los rooms. Usted va a ver cuál room es usted, ok. Room number one, two, or three, or four, ok. Recuerden, actress one. Video game taster two, the walker three, teacher four. Okay, you can also see the image or the picture in the WhatsApp group, or you can take a picture here. Okay, either one. So perfect, guys. So solo vamos a leerlo. Okay, solo leer. Okay. Okay, perfect, guys. Okay, Maritza, Osman, if you can help me, Vilma. Okay. Let's see. Mm. No, no, let's Hello guys. Um, uh, bueno, ustedes son el room number one, son el grupo uno, right? So, van a leer acerca de actress, right? El primer reading, el primero. Solo lo vamos a leer, cada quien léalo y de su opinión de qué se trata, ok, la lectura. Then, entiendan de qué se trata, ok? Si uno no sabe una palabra, el otro okay. dígale si la sabe, ok? So, that one, ok? Ok. Perfect. Persona. Ok. Hello, guys. Uh, bueno, ustedes son el room number two, right? Ustedes yes. solo van a leer sobre video game taster, right? Que era el segundo. Solo lo vamos sí. a leer, chicos. Que cada quien lea lo individual y trate de entenderlo. Y luego de su opinión, ¿qué entendió? Okay? ¿Qué entendieron? Y si uno no sabe, pues okay. que le explique el otro, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Perfect. Ok, Perfect. ok, de acuerdo. Perfect, nice. There are people... Hello guys. Um, hi. Uh, sorry, hi. sorry to interrupt this. Perdón por interrumpirlos. And ustedes son el room number three, right? Grupo número tres. A ustedes les tocó el dog walker, right? La lectura número tres. Dog walker. Okay. Yeah. La chica de los perros. Eh, chicos, solo vamos a leerlo, okay? Solo quiero que cada uno lo lea individual y luego entre ustedes. Eh, Quiero ah. que se expliquen y digan qué es lo que entienden, ¿ok? Qué entienden de la lectura. Y si alguien no tiene una palabra o algo, que el otro explique y así, ¿ok? Solo quiero que lo lean para entender, ¿ok? Ok. Perfect, nice. See you, let's see That's... the other group. Thanks. Oh. Hello, guys. I remember now, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello, bueno, teacher. sorry, creo que a ustedes les tocó solo a ustedes dos porque no habían, but... Don't worry, guys, ¿ok? 
Lo único que vamos a hacer, chicos, es um, solo vamos a leer, ¿ok? A ustedes les tocó el listen, eh, bueno, el reading number four, el último, right? Four. Dice teacher. Yes. Yeah. Solo, yeah. Yeah, solo vamos a leer, chicos, cada uno individual, léalo, y luego expliquen qué entendieron, ¿ok? ¿Qué entendieron de la lectura? Si ten, ¿Qué palabra no entendieron para buscarla? ¿Ok? Y así, ¿ok? Eso es lo que vamos okay. a hacer, solo leer, ¿ok? Perfect. Nice, guys. So, lo puedes dejar ahorita y voy a ver los demás, ¿ok? Nice. Okay, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody, welcome. Nice, so let's wait for the rest. So let's see, let's see, guys. Uh, let me share you the screen. Perfect, guys. So we have this reading, right? So we're going to wait for the rest of your classmates to log in, you know. So let's see. Let's see. Perfect. Perfect. Welcome, guys. Welcome, everybody. So, guys, I hope you have practiced. Well, I hope you have understood your reading. Espero que hayan entendido, bueno, al menos la mayoría sus um, readings, okay? So, well, let's see, guys. El objetivo de los reading, guys, era para ver si entendíamos, right? Si no entendíamos algo, que nuestros compañeros nos ayudaran, right? So, let's see, okay? Ya leímos, cada grupo leyó su reading, right? So, in this case, we have this exercise, okay? So, let's see for the first story. Wait, this one now. <laughs> no worry. 
So for the first uh, question, do we have this, okay? After I win, I take a break, okay? So tenemos quien, después de que gano, tomo un break, okay? So chicos, according to the readings, ¿quién creen que diría esto, okay? ¿Creen... John Blue. ¿Quién? John Blue. Okay, so probably, thank you, Saraya. So John Blue es video game taster, so es grupo número dos. So el grupo número dos dice que es John Blue. Okay, perfect. Ahora vamos con esto. I don't usually work in the summer. No trabajo usualmente en el verano. ¿Quién lo diría? De su reading, guys. De su grupo. ¿Quién creen que lo diría? Lo diría Lisa, John, Becky o Carlos. Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz. Okay, so entonces Carlos Ruiz, grupo número cuatro, that's right. No, no, Carlos Ruiz, yeah. So, perfect. Now, let's see. Esto no le hagan caso, esto que marqué, chicos. Eh, tenemos ahora este, the restaurant closed late around 2 a.m. El restaurante cierra tarde como a las 2 de la mañana, right? So, ¿quién diría eso, chicos? ¿Quién lo diría? Lisa, John, Becky o Carlos. Lisa Parker. Lisa. Okay. Lisa era, okay. So, well, nice. So, Lisa is the reading number uh, one. Grupo number one. Perfect. And then we have the last one. It says, after work, my feet and my arms are tired. Después del trabajo, mis pies y mis brazos están cansados. ¿Quién diría eso, chicos? Lisa, John, okay, so Becky, and Becky was Becky, for Becky. what? Becky era del grupo número tres, tres, number three, so let's see guys, let's see si son correctas las respuestas, and yeah, perfect guys, perfect, so I like it, so you see guys, ya respondimos este ejercicio, okay, so if you want, well, si estuvieron aquí en la clase, vamos a poder ver, right? So you see, and I like it that you have understood the reading. Me gusta que hayan entendido la lectura, guys. Perfect. So guys, well, this is, you know, all for tonight, for tonight class. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Espero verlos mañana. Remember, tomorrow we have the exam, okay? The exam. So be ready, okay? Tenemos, chicos, para hacer el examen, ya tenemos que haber terminado la sección three, okay? So, la sección 3, hoy terminamos los dos últimos ejercicios aquí en clases, so, espero que los puedan realizar, right? So, guys, hope to see you tomorrow and have a good night, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. See you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Take care. Bye, teachers. Bye. Bye.